So you could blow. <laughs> you could spin the mud off. Oh, you're digging out. <laughs> you're getting out a little bit. All right. Hello, everybody. Coming at you with all my might. It is my How you guys doing today? Today, we are out for a ride on the big wheels. I have my YZ. Whoa! My YZ 450FX big wheel. And Dad is rocking the Christini all-wheel drive big wheel. It's only a 250. So... He's going a lot faster than I thought he would be. He doesn't even ride his bike this fast. Whatever. It, it definitely, ah. Oh, you're going for the mud already. It definitely does not, does not turn like the, uh, like the 350. No, it turns better, it turns better than, uh, than yours? Than mine, yeah. Much this stick throws off my balance. Oh, I bet. I can't even catch up to you because the stick waggling about, like it's rotating my uh, my torso, so I can't even get my proper form. You're gonna have to slow down. All right, watch the mud because the front tire will hydroplane. So we are in four wheel drive. Yeah. It's definitely not like a regular dirt bike. It's not as nimble, so. Well, no, the nimble, the thing about it is, is this, this particular bike. If you were taking this out hunting or just cruising around with it. It's that's gonna, what it's, it's made. For. It's gonna be perfect. So what we're gonna have to do is, yeah, slow it down and then just do some crawling with it, like through the woods. Let's go up to, uh, Charlie's okay because that's where you're gonna see when you're ripping it it's not it's yeah. not a ripping bike it's a small it's a little 250 it's a, basically how they set this up is they put a different size tire on there you have a 10 inch rim um, so you can get the 23 inch tires whereas this has 25 on a 12 inch rim and the reason is is you can actually adjust the ride height with the tires so that's one thing that's why they went with the smaller tires because a lot of this bike is designed for older hunters <laughs> that's, <laughs> i that's, mean I, I could see you just the, putting around the woods with it it'd be really good for yeah, that yeah that was their biggest complaint is a lot of these bikes are too tall but with that when you're just crawling it will crawl over anything and with the all-wheel drive when we find some sticks for you to crawl over like logs you'll have you'll really see how the all-wheel drive works you like you don't have to hit stuff with speed like i have to hit stuff with speed because the front just crawls over things versus versus having to rail stuff it really in my opinion it lowers the the skill level of entry because you can just get on this bike and be and be a pro. Because the, the the years of training and stuff that I well, I basically it's not I don't have training. <laughs> the years of just riding a big wheel is how I, you know, got to be as good as I am on the big wheel, and I'm, I'm like really the one of the only ones that actually rides these because they're. They're not exactly easy to ride because no. if you take a regular dirt bike and put the big wheel tires on it, it makes makes them a little bit harder to use. But the thing about it is, is it's on high speeds. When you go low speed, that extra traction is phenomenal. It's crazy. You can feel like just putting around with it. It definitely, it definitely pretty much go anywhere. Oh yeah, wait yeah. till you get up here. Go just go straight and just don't worry about going up. Don't worry about you know really gassing it. 
just take it for what it is and just watch it climb. You'll be amazed at how well it just climbs up the hill without any thought. Oh yeah, you can feel it. Yeah. I mean, I can do it too, but I have to maintain my balance. And it's, for me to go this slow, it's a lot it's a lot more effort it's too bad it wasn't all slimy out like it usually is because we always get caught on the side hill yeah the side hill oh you're gonna be amazed with the side hill abilities of this we usually get caught right in here when it's slimy yeah. out you can see all the previous tracks that we made yeah i was just up here with that I'm trying not to wrangle myself on a tree. All right, so go down to that log. See, can you see the tire tracks? Oh, too far, right there. That might be too high. You can try it. Oh, oh it's it. Yeah, you're. Get, I think you're gonna bottom out on it though. Oh, well, you can see all the tires moving. <laughs> I was talking about this part right here. Yeah, I made it, didn't I? The front end pulled me over. It pulled you right over. All right, so there's more sticks down here I want you to go over. It feels a lot like an XR. Yeah, that's what I said. It felt like the X. I'd never ridden an XR 200. Yeah, I have. Where? Which way are you going? I, I wanted to go out the normal trail. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I rode uh, this. I rode the neighbor's XR 200, and that's what it feels like. I, I the only thing I've rode is the 400. So out here to our normal trail to the left. So see our entrance yep, to the I left. Yeah. Now yeah. our normal section where we come up the hill, there is, there's some logs in there and I want you to go over them. It definitely feels a lot different going slow. Like it's all manageable, but when you yeah, it's one of the things that the big wheels you don't notice it at the slower speeds. Once you start getting some speed, yeah, then yeah, you do. It's... But that, like I said, this wasn't okay. So there's some logs up here, and just feel how it just crawls right over them. Just, just drive right over. Just drive like you're not on in there. Oh yeah, you can feel the front end. Well, see, my front end kicked out. Where that, it literally just grabs and walks right over because the the wheels are spinning. Yeah. Well, uh, the front end come off the ground a little bit, but once it hits. But it, it threw the front end up over the log because it grabbed. Yeah, once it touched down, it just pulled me right off of it too. And the, oh, the back was yeah. in the air. Another thing about it is you have better engine braking now because your engine braking front and rear. Yeah, it's, it's the front is holding you as well. So it's going to be easier to descend hills that's one thing i noticed about the hill climb up over oh wow they uh got rid of the pile yeah i was just up here uh what day uh, two days ago i can't do that not bad once you get used to it no. you i mean if you took it to aoa where all the rocks and stuff are i think it'd be a lot of fun because it would just crawl over everything and that's it me like i said it makes it easier to ride just normal everyday stuff because you don't have to worry about traction it, it physically can't spin unless you're spinning both of the tires that's the crazy part about it yeah 
It just there's a learning curve to the actual big wheel part of it. See that I didn't really notice that because for me I've been doing it for the last three years. But on manageableness, that that one is a lot <laughs> a lot easier to manage than mine. Well, it's and, not so aggressive. Well, no, the motor, yes, but I'm talking about the uh, the weight. I think BVC's kit is much lighter than mine. Because you saw the size of the swing arm. Yeah. It's down here quite a ways. You don't realize how far down it is until you don't know where it's at. Should be right in there. It's right where I painted a pine tree. It's right there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it goes right through there. Yep. That's what, that, that's what I say for like this single track, you're just putting along through the woods. It's amazing. And that's, that's the main market for that 250 is uh, as a, like a scouting hunting vehicle. Oh yeah, you can feel it. You can feel it pulling you up the hill. It pulls you right, yep. You can feel the front end engage and pull you right up over. no major wheelies or anything on this thing it will wheelie but it, it, you need a bump or something it's it doesn't it feel like the two hot the tw yeah it, it feel, does. But the thing about it is it's efi and electric start well uh, the tw was electric as well but the efi there's no throttle lag or anything like the stupid carburetor on the tw that sucks yeah Definitely is a crawler. If you want to crawl and just putt around and have a good time, it's definitely going to work for that. If you want to do fast... It's not a race bike. No, if you want to do fast runs and stuff, it's... If I'm neutral, I do that too. Oh, there's a giant pine tree that fell down in uh, our single track over there, see it? Oh, did it? Yeah. I've actually never taken my big wheel on uh, this single track. Only the 150. Oh, you're making a new one. I'm trying to find our... It's right here. There it is. It goes down. don't know about I probably could do it I was like I don't know about with this uh, with my lance going on right here oh you're well Jesus growed up quick yeah a little bit is uh so the, the basically the clearance is an issue you need a little taller um for our, like going what over a lot of for how we ride yes however you, it's based on height so you're you, we're we're six foot so not everybody is six foot tall yeah and that's one of the 
one of the arguments and why it is set up like that it's for shorter shorter riders so you could just go straight um however all you can do is if you were to run a if you were to run a 12 inch rim you could put an extra inch of clearance by running a 24 over the 23s right. or on top of that you could just you can just oh wow that's mud oh that is soupy oh crap <laughs> I went right through yeah it. you went right through it Let me, I, Okay, you see how all-wheel drive helps? Yeah, it does. Uh, it does help go through there. Uh, so you can pull. Oh. <laughs> you can spin the mud off. Oh, you're digging out. <laughs> you're digging it out a little bit. Um. Oh, there's a big rock in there. So, what was I saying? Oh, so basically, you could put. 24 inch tires on there and it'll give up uh, some height or you could go with 25 inch so that's about two inches more but that also increases your seat height too so seat height is adjustable i have 25 inch tires with a lowering link on my rear because it does not let me just whack my camera off of a tree real quick you definitely can feel the four wheel drive and in situations where that was the mud, I just it just pulled me right it through it. Pulled, yeah, whereas I was just sitting there spinning. Yep. And I have more tire. I have much more tire. So I'm wondering if it, like marshy places like Mississippi, Georgia, Alabama, places that got a lot of mud, Canada, I, get, I bet it would work really well. 